Ever since the horrifying event during May of last year, the death of my friend Daniel, I never played Plants vs Zombies Garden Warfare 2 ever since. I don't want to see anyone else too. Everyone in my school knows the death of Daniel, and it's been a bit of a racket around my school. With this going on, I never really talked to anyone because Daniel was what almost everyone talked about. Hey, but at least I still have some other friends on Garden Warfare. Playing some Garden Warfare with them would probably make me forget about the gruesome past that happened. At 7.30pm after dinner, I logged on to Garden Warfare 2 to play with my friends, Jaden and Will. We decided to enter a herbal assault match. I looked at the time, it was 7.40. This was the exact same time Daniel and I played Garden Warfare 2 and entered a herbal assault match. I was slightly concerned since it could be a possible coincidence something bad was going to happen, but maybe I'm just thinking about things too much. Something bad can't possibly happen again to me in this game, right? For the first and second match, nothing really happened, just us winning first match and then losing second match. When the third match started, we all heard something in the voice chat. A dark whisper. It said, So, you want power, do you? You want it, and I'll give it. We were all confused and I asked if Jaden or Will said that. They both said they didn't say anything. None of us did. We assumed it was just someone who accidentally joined the voice chat and left, so we didn't really care and continued in the third match. But while we were playing, I wish I never heard this sentence again. Suddenly, Will, in confusion, said, Guys, why is there a black coloured weed in my spawnable plant collection? My heart sank as my eyes widened in fear. I yelled in the voice chat, Will, ignore it! Don't use that plant! Don't spawn it! He didn't listen. And plus, I was outvoted 2 to 1, since Jaden also wanted to see what this weed could do. I tried my best, I shouted loud as I can, not to let them spawn the black coloured weed. But it was too late. Will spawned the black weed. I froze in fear, looking at that one entity, disguised as the video game NPC. Those white soulless eyes, those pitch black leaves, that black stem, everything, and that cold, unnerving look on its face. Will and Jaden didn't know what it did as it just stood there dormant. When things couldn't get any worse, the weed slowly turned its head at me, staring at my soul through the eyes of my character. It turned to Will's character suddenly and pierced him using his leaf arms into his chest. As Will's character sprouted with roots and vines with its innards all exposed and bursting out, Watching in horror, we heard something worse through the headset. Jaden never heard it, but for me, it was a sound that I wish I would never hear again. A blood-curling scream came through the voice chat, followed by the sound of blood and guts bursting out. It was the end of the line for Will. Jaden and I ran from the dark weed to try and get away from it as possible. As I saw it finish tearing Will's character up, it jolted its head to me and ran towards us. As it ran at us, it started sprouting roots from the ground, killing anyone that tried getting in its way. It hurt being those players that got pierced, knowing what happened to the ones that died alongside Daniel last year. As we turned back again, we saw that it stopped dead in its tracks, not until it smashed its two hands into the ground, sprouting roots out that grew fast in our direction. It slowly sprouted fast behind Jaden and eventually caught his legs. I looked behind me as the weed tore Jaden's character apart followed by his screams through the voice chat. As I tried to unplug my game system, thinking why the hell didn't I do this earlier, my character was pierced from behind by the dark weed. When that happened, I felt two sharp objects pierced through my back. I screamed in pain, and I know I'm screaming loud because I feel my vocal cords being strained, not to mention the much more painful stabbings on my back. I look at my TV in pain only to see a black figure wearing a hat standing behind the weed. The figure then spoke. It said, Be grateful with what you get. You never know when he'll come back to take revenge on you, Jake. Whoever or whatever that figure was knew my name. I tried to break out of the sharp roots pierced in my back, but the roots only impaled into my flesh deeper. I felt something growing inside my chest, trying to eventually burst out of my body. A wave of paralysis hit me and I couldn't move at all. I, I feel the sharp roots sprouting in my hands and legs. Just like Daniel, 
you will suffer the same fate as he did.